Welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to install Node.js on your computer so you can start developing. So to start off, we'll just open up a browser and then in the URL bar type node.js.org, which is the address of the Node.js website, and then we'll hit enter. Assuming you've entered the URL correctly, you should be shown a page exactly like this. In the center of the page, we can see that it's showing us two downloads for our operating system. So in my case, I'm using 64-bit Windows and it's showing me that version. But if you're on Mac or Linux, then it's going to show you something different. Now we can see two options. One is the version num number followed by LTS, recommended for most users. And the other option is the version number followed by current, which is with the latest features. We want to choose the first option because LTS stands for long-term support which means in this version you won't get any major changes except for critical security patches. This means your code will say, stay secure into the future, but there will be no major changes that will break it and stop it from working. So you're just going to want to click on this button and it will give you the option to choose the directory that you want to download your file to and then it will begin the download. Now in my case I've already downloaded it in advance, so just wait until your download's finished and then come back to the video. Okay, once your download is done, just open the installer by clicking on it or double clicking on it and you should see a window like this. Uh, then we'll just click next and then you're going to want to make sure you read through the license agreement but I've already done it because I've installed it before so in this case I'm just going to click accept the terms and then click next. Then it will give you the option to where you want to install Node.js. I'm just going to leave it as the default but feel free to change it. Now here are more options about exactly what you want to install. In our case, we want it all and we're not gonna modify any of the options. So we'll just click next. And then it gives us another option to install some tools that will allow for the easy installation of different packages later on. In this case, we're not gonna use any advanced packages on this course, so we don't need these tools and we'll just opt to not install them. Okay, and then we're on the final step, so we just wanna click the install button and then the installation will begin. If you're on Windows like I am, then you'll need administrative privileges. So when an overlay comes up and there's a pop-up asking you if you want to install it, just click yes and that will allow it to begin the installation. Now we're just going to wait for the installation to finish and hopefully it won't take too long. And there you are, the installation's done and now we'll click finish. So to double check that the installation all worked correctly, we're going to want to open up a command prompt or a terminal. And in Windows, we can open up a command prompt by going to the search bar in the bottom left, typing in CMD, and then pressing enter, and a command prompt will open up for us to use. So we're gonna to wanna to type into our command prompt node, followed by a space, and then hyphen V, and we're just running node and asking it for the version number. So if you press enter and it's all installed correctly, you should see the version number appear. So in my case, it's version 10.13. In the next video, we'll see how to install two different IDs to use for node.js, depending on how powerful your computer is.